Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we're going to discuss about DBT GRF program, which is DBT BET examination. Especially if you are a life science biotech student who want to pursue your PhD in India, and if you are looking for alternative to CSIR GRF examination, then I would suggest you to explore DBT BET examination and avail this opportunity. Let's see what is DBT examination. It is conducted by DBT Department of Biotech and the award is supported by Ministry of Science and Technology. This examination is organized by Regional Center of Biotechnology RCB Faridabad. Usually this examination is held once every year. The candidates are selected through biotech eligibility test that is bad based on the examination and performance of the candidate. Two merit lists are prepared. The selected candidates are divided into two group category one and category 2 and category 1. Top 275 students come in this category and they are eligible to avail this fellowship at any university and institute of India. In category 2, the candidates are eligible to be appointed in any DBT sponsored project and avail this fellowship from the project equivalent to net and gay. So around 100 merit list comes under this category and you can avail this via DBT funded external project. See the duration of the scholarship. The duration is for 5 years for your PhD. You have to take the admission within the 2 years from the date of assurance of your award letter. The awarded fellowship is rupee 30,000 per month including your HRA contingency. They also support you medical allowance. Additionally, they also provide you travel benefits for your scientific events and workshop. Let's see what is the eligibility if you want to appear in this examination. Let's see the academic qualification first. Not a normal graduate BSc student are eligible to apply for this test. But if you are doing BE, BTEC or MBBS, then you are eligible to apply for this. If you are doing Masters, MSc, MTech, Masters in Veterinary Science, M Pharma or Integrated MSc, See, then also you are eligible to apply for this especially if you are related to biotech life science and any biological discipline for this application you should have good academic record also in terms of marks you should have four divisions there's age limit of up to 28 years let's explore the mode of selection the BAT is conducted via computer-based test CBT. The syllabus of DBT can be downloaded from the DBT and RCB website. I will be going to put the link of that syllabus link in the description kindly see there if we talk about the pattern of this examination the examination is conducted in english and it is of mcqe style you will be provided with multiple choice questions in this examination there are two sections in this examination section a and section b let's see what is section a in section a there are 50 multiple choice questions each question carry three marks. If you are giving incorrect answer, then there is negative marking also. If you are not attempting or you are not giving any response to any question, then zero marks will be avoided for that particular question. The questions which comes in section A are from general science, maths, chemistry, aptitude, analytical questions, quantitative uh, questions, and also general biotech. Now let's explore what is section B. In section B, there is 150 multiple choice question. Mainly they cover from biotech. You have to attempt 50 questions and each question carry 3 marks. If you are not making any response or if you are omitting that question, then 0 marks for that question. Let's see what are the important dates if you are planning to apply. The dates can fluctuate a little bit. The start date for the submission of online application is around mid of March. The closing date of application and submission of application fee is around the end of the month. And usually the bad examinations are conducted in April month. I hope you have found this information relevant and you are going to explore it further and you are going to apply for this examination timely. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific friends, especially to the PhD aspirant who 